There we go. Hey everybody, Panther0822 here. We are going to get into den time with the Panther. Alright, so as you guys can see, I've got a, uh, I've got a new mic. I like this new mic. It's wonderful and it's pretty. So, um, anyways, I've, uh, I've done a little testing, although I want to listen here again real quick. Okay. I'm just I'm just kind of curious. I'm still getting kind of used to it. It's a new mic, so. I'm just I'm just kind of curious. I'm still getting kind of used to it. It's a new mic, so. All right. So, anyways. Let's get this shared out here real quick. I think I still need to adjust something. Yeah. There we go. That should be much better. All right, and I like that because that's actually hitting at zero reference, which is where it's supposed to be hitting. So it is good there. Makes me very, very happy. I took a two so some odd hour nap, but I'm still feeling tired. Okay. I'm gonna share this out a few places. I'm actually really, really happy. I got this mic on sale. Um, it's normally an $80 microphone, um, or about an $80 mic, made by Turtle Beach. This is the this is the Turtle Beach Stream microphone. So it's intentionally actually designed for what I'm doing. Um, the hope, though, and this is something that. Um, we still need to actually test is we are hoping it will resolve a lot of the issues that we were having when we were using um, discord and um, And, and honestly other a few other uh, platforms so um, that is the hope at least and given that it is a USB input microphone and that it's specifically designed it should hopefully resolve those issues at least that's uh, that's what we're hoping so Oh. So, anyways, let's get into it. I'm a little tired, so I'm not entirely positive this is going to be a very long vlog. But I wanted to give you and talk to you guys a little bit, let you know how the day's gone, how my MS has been. So, um, it was actually a very, very early day, um, not intentionally. I ended up waking up around seven or so 
letting let the dogs out and then uh, the wife and I went out for breakfast and honestly we spent about say we we spent like I want to say somewhere around six to six to eight hours out of the house somewhere in between there oh uh. because we went to breakfast went uh, and that that took us until about eight, and then after that, we walked over to the pet store. They weren't open just yet, so um, we waited for that. So we um, went over, went back out to the pet place at nine, got what we needed, went back to the house, dropped off some things. Um, came back the bus was had l unfortunately left by that time so after that we um we walked across the street to deposit some money and then we walked back to the house waited outside for about five ish minutes for the lift lift took us to best buy which is where we got a new case for my wife so ipad and we got the the wonderful new mic for me I've been wanting to get this mic for a while, actually, so I'm really, really happy that I actually have it. And what I'm really happy about is, so far, everything that I've done with the microphone, other than some initial setup issues, which I th it was more my computer not seeing the mic at first, um, the mic's been great so far. So, uh, it's... It's been so yeah. So anyways, um, after that we took the bus to the Citadel Mall, bummed around the mall for a little bit because we had some things there, and then um, excuse me. After that, we walked over to Barnes and Nobles where a friend of mine was hanging for a little bit, so we went and saw him and hung out with him for a few minutes, and then we took the bus home. And then after we took the bus home, I ended up doing the like 20-ish minute stream uh, for Final Fantasy VIII. And then I was so tired at that point that I had to kill, I had to stop the stream. And then, uh, excuse me. And I ended up taking a nap, and when I woke up, my left arm hurt really, really badly. And honestly, it still does. Um, like, I slept on it wrong or something, but it, um, but yeah. So, I mean, overall, today's been a really, really good day. I got one of my, my set incomes. I'll get the other one here in another couple days. Um, downside to, to both of my set incomes, they both come at the end of the month, which is... A blessing and a problematic all at the same time if I could reset one of them to where one of them comes in like more like the middle of the month and one came at the end of the month I'd be a lot happier but I'm not able to do that so because um, disability is it is set it comes on the last like Wednesday of the month or whatever it is so um, so yeah anyways it's just I'm I'm really happy to actually have this mic. Now what's really cool is this little black piece right here. It's a boom adapter that actually goes uh, attaches directly onto the boom arm here. Um, initially I was thinking that I was going to have to buy this piece. And this piece, I mean it's not an expensive piece. It's like a $5 piece. Um, but I was thinking I was going to have to buy it and I didn't. So I was really really happy and then there's a uh, there's a bolt um, that I, 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 well, I, I could, anyways, there's, there's a bolt that goes in right here, and I thought it didn't come in the packaging, I was, conf it really frustrated me, I t double checked the packaging, and, and then I ended up looking down on the floor, and I saw this little thing, and I was like, oh, there's the missing piece, after I sent an email to, uh, Turtle Beach saying, hey, I bought this, this cool microphone, and, it didn't come with this piece, so now I need to send them another email saying I found said piece. Um, 
so so yeah anyway so yeah no I'm, I'm just I'm really happy because my my setup is um, is exactly the way that that I wanted it I finally have my setup and and I'm really really happy this mic is awesome it has two different polar patterns which is really cool so right now I'm using the polar pattern that just pulls from the front mic here and then there's a back mic here so it actually basically has a, a dual pickup and so if we go back to uh, streaming games IRL games and things like that I can switch the polar pattern and that should actually make life um, a lot better as far as doing IRL stuff which overall is gonna make me a lot happier but it also means that I don't have to be wasting battery in my on my AKG because don't get me wrong my AKG was a good microphone and it really really worked for for what we were doing but I needed a specific PC streaming microphone which is why I got this mic and this mic is very very highly rated so um, so we'll we'll have to see but so far from what i've seen of the microphone i've been really really happy and really really pleased so um you guys are gonna have to let me know what you guys are hearing because i do actually take a minute and i do actually listen to things to see how the audio quality and things like that is that being said i always like to know your guys's perspective so if there's something that you guys are noticing let me know um there's a uh, there's a suggestion box down below where you can Throw in a suggestion and let me know uh, what you guys are uh, are thinking or whatnot. So, speaking further down on the page, there is a live in countdown timer that says three days and twelve hours. That is to our collab on this upcoming Sunday. That's right, this upcoming Sunday, we are doing another collab. Woohoo! We are uh, we're really excited. We're looking forward to doing the collab with you guys. We're really hoping to have more people in the collab than last time because last time nobody showed up. It was It wasn't that people weren't watching, it's people just didn't join in. People didn't get me their Steam information. So I wasn't able to send them a request or you guys didn't send me a Steam request so that that way if we're doing a uh, a game that you guys have and you want to join us, you guys can jump in and join us cuz that's what that's what the collabs are for the collabs are for us to get together and hang out and have a blast and just play games that's um that is the point so anyways my ms today has been kicking me and kicking me in the butt um my right leg has been trembling a little bit, which is a little bit annoying. Um, it's typical, though, if I've been off my pain reliever, which I have been, unfortunately. Um, I actually need to call the Walmart pharmacy and get that refilled, which reminds me I need. I had an uh, I had a call I needed to make today, and I just spaced it all together. Bad me. Um, I'll do it tomorrow. Um, but my MS today has been due to the amount of walking we we were pushing pushing my limits um, as far as what I was able to do um, by the time by the time we got home I was spent I was done um, I could probably do something now I've rested long enough and whatnot but right now yeah it's earlier today when I got home I was like uh-uh I'm done I'm sitting or I'm laying down. I am not moving. So, um, so yeah. So overall, that's kind of been the day. Um, so this is a, this is also a Q and A, guys. So if you guys have questions for me, throw it in the chat. I will do my best to answer the question uh, truthfully and honestly. And. Um, And yeah, so again, if you guys have a question, please don't hesitate. Because that's part of what this is. Part of this is actually a, uh, a Q&A. So, actually, I'm going to see if I can get the wife over here for a few minutes. Because I actually want to talk about something pretty 
serious. So, wife, did you want to talk about? Yeah. Okay. So, um, we're gonna get weighty. Just to be really, really honest and and whatnot, we're we're gonna get into a to a serious subject, and I'm probably actually gonna potentially kill the music. Um. Just because of um, the particular nature of the subject, I'm also going to switch the polar pattern on the mic.
we got the mic back up and running and fixed and yay! Okay. All right, so the wife is gonna go out and um, and uh, and she'll be right back. She's gonna go and uh, talk to or not talk to, but um, she's letting the pups out. This only lets it rotate one direction, and then that lets it rotate that way, so I can then tighten that, and then I can tighten that, then I loosen that, and then I rotate that like that and then that way you guys can still hear things and then I can move the microphone so that it should actually pick the wife up better okay although I think I think I might want to actually redo the way that I have that because I don't like the way that I have that. So. Right now, the mic is set so that when it rotates, the, um, the actual microphone part is. Um, aiming away from me, and I don't like that. It's actually problematic. is facing me because that makes much more sense. There we go. All right. So now the mic is actually facing towards me and then this way I can swing the mic over closer and then that way the wife can be sitting here and then the mic can actually do a better job of picking up the wife, which is actually a good thing. All right. Uh, I think it likes the other polar pattern better, to be honest. I think the other polar pattern actually worked better. And then I can move this over here, and this is still picking me up pretty well. Okay, cool. Yeah, I like that polar pattern better. That polar pattern actually works better. So... Anyways, yeah, um, so... Uh, we're, we're gonna get weighty here for... 
a couple minutes. I'm waiting for the wife to... Well, the wife just got back, so hey, there we go. That's fine. He was running up the stairs, not paying attention to anybody, and literally got on her foot. He'll learn. So, do you want to grab a chair? Okay. The wife says she's fine. I was offering, I, I wanted to know if she wanted to take a minute to get a chair. So, you're good? Okay, I'm going to move the mic a little bit that way, a little down, so it's not, like, quite so in her face. And I think I am going to kill the music for this, because... The music's too happy for the, the subject matter. Yeah, well, it's a little distracting, so... Um, so we were watching a... Uh, we were watching Matt Pat. Matt Pat was talking about uh okay, okay okay so well i'll let the wife explain she'll little, explain little better backstory if you don't know who matt pat is i'd be kind of surprised but he is one of the the main uh people uh that's involved in the game theorists mm -hmm. and um we've been a fan of his for a couple of years now and uh he made a video or released a video today called fighting a losing battle and in this uh, video, he talked about how a good friend of his passed away recently uh, due to suicide. And that is something that we in this family, unfortunately, know all too well. Yeah. Um, suicide is, is a very serious issue. It is something that I myself have fought with at times. Um, when I this was this was when I was first diagnosed with MS, um, we were living in Washington, and there was a park that was nearby that had a small pond, and I thought about just walking into the pond. So, um, it was the first time that I had seriously thought about it. And even, I, I mean, the wife, I, I was sitting at the bench that was in front of the, um, in front of the pond, debating. And the wife ran out sensing distress and, and found me and sat and we, and we talked for a bit and eventually we, uh, we walked back to the house, so. Um, this is also not an unfamiliar territory for the wife, so I'll... I struggle a lot with depression and anxiety. Um, it's something that I've had pretty much since I was a teenager, but it's, it's, it's come and gone in, in waves and spurts, and I could probably fill up at least an hour worth of my dirty laundry and, and things that, that made me into the person I am today. Um, it's not an exaggeration to see that Panther saved my life. Um, he was a person that I needed when I needed somebody in my life. And it grew into romance, which grew into a wonderful marriage. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. What I did want to talk about um, is one night in particular. Um, and, and we bring up these stories not not because we're trying to, you know, because I think the biggest problem when it comes to people who suffer from depression and anxiety um, is the idea that we do we're, we tell our stories for the attention. Mm -mm. Um, and, and, and it's, this is more or less to bring awareness, it's a, it's to bring awareness, and it happens to anybody, it can happen to everybody, at some point in their lives, 
Yeah, I mean, the, the depression is is a battle that everybody deals with at some point in their life. Whether they're willing to admit it or not, it doesn't matter. The truth is, everybody deals with depression at some point. And some people deal with it on a more severe level than others. So, um... I struggled really hard with some, some anxiety and depression, and my doctor recommended that I try a new medication and my brother takes the medication so we didn't think there'd be any problem with me taking it and to, to this day I'm not honestly sure if it was the medication or if it was this particular event that, that triggered it but um, I had a I guess I can call them an acquaintance um, from high school. Basically trashed me on Facebook. Uh, called me a fake. Um, they weren't nice. Accused me of, of doing things that I didn't do. I mean, at the time, I was trying to raise money for our dog, um, Carmel, who's no longer with us, uh, because he needed... A surgery to have his eyes removed because he had glaucoma and you know he couldn't see anyway and his eyes cost him constant pain and the vet said it was the right thing to do and so I decided to do that but at the same time I decided that to start looking for uh, a dog that I could train to be an emotional support animal which is what Gabby is my little black Pomeranian um, and she started spreading rumors of, uh, of the like of that, you know, that I was uh, basically abandoning this dog, my, my dog Carmel, over in favor of getting a new puppy, and that the um, money I was raising for his surgery was going to go towards the purchase of this very expensive Pomeranian puppy, and yada yada yada. And it, that wasn't the case. It was... I found somebody who was willing to, to give me a dog for extremely, you know, inexpensive considering, you know, most Pomeranian puppies are like $1,500 to $2,500. They're super expensive. Yeah, they are. Um, and so, but she, she basically ended her rant with, besides calling me a fake and calling me a liar and all this other stuff. Um, with the, the shot of, I'm so glad that this person can't, uh, supposedly can't breed. And infertility is something that Panther and I have struggled with our entire marriage. Um, and there's a lot of, of, of bad memories associated with that. And that, I mean, just even talking about it makes me feel bad about myself. And no matter, you know, I was like, you don't know the situation, you're going off half-cocked, you're not understanding what we're talking about or what's going on in my life, and you're not even bothering to ask me about it, you're just basically trashing me on Facebook because you assume a bunch of things. I ended up canceling out the, um, the, the GoFundMe, um, I returned the, the money that some friends were nice enough to... to uh, whatever, because I didn't want her to hold that over my head or make me feel like I was less of a person for, for doing that. Um, I had my reasons. Um, I mean, maybe in retrospect, you know, taking care of... Uh, Carmel's eyes was one of those things where it was not a necessity. He did not need to have his eyes removed. And at the end, we ended up not doing it, and he was fine. Um, so I just want to mention that, um, yeah, unfortunately, Carmel's health did not allow us to bring him back to Colorado, so we, that, that was, yeah. that was a sad day. So, um, this bothered me. This bothered me very much. This made me, I mean, I already have insecurities about my body about my my uh, facial issues which is not just acne I also have something called rosacea um, and I feel bad about myself a lot 
And this, this wonderful gentleman standing beside me does a really great job of picking me up when I feel that way. But, you know, anxiety is something that happens. It's not something that you can contain. It's not something that, you know, it can strike at any time. And it usually does. And so this triggered an anxiety moment for me. And the new medication that I was on exacerbated that situation. And so I found myself 2 o'clock in the morning with a knife to my wrist and it literally took all of my willpower to wake up Panther from a dead sleep. I frightened him I'm sure because I was bawling at the time I was crying so hard and and I was like yeah honey I want to die I, I want to die. I want to die. I want to kill myself right now. I just, I just really, really want to die. And Panther panicked. <laughs> um, and he didn't know what to do. He helped me. He, he calmed me down. He, you know, he was like, "You're, you're fine. You're gonna be okay." Um, he called the. There's a nurse helpline, and we, we, he called that to see, you know, my, my wife. There's something wrong. She's freaking out. She's talking about wanting to die I don't know what to do and they're like this is a medical emergency bring her in immediately um, my brother drove while my husband helped me while I was crying my eyes out and um, I'm pretty sure he broke several um, speeding laws because the hospital was about 45 minute drive from where we lived and we got there in 20 minutes and they brought me in immediately and um, Basically what happened is they, they took away all of my clothes, all of my personal effects. Um, yeah. They don't let you have anything of, of yours at all, period. Nothing. Nada. It put me basically in a glass box. There was uh, windows everywhere so that they could look in on me. Um, they kept me there for about 12 hours. Um, Panther, of course, stayed by my side every minute of the whole thing. Um, enough that they decided that uh, this particular medication that I'm on, I, uh, I do not react well to it, so it is now part of the, uh, I, uh, they call it, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Um, allergic or an, an allergic reverse. reaction. It's an adverse reaction. So I'm not allowed to take that medication anymore. It took it about a good three days for it to finally get out of my system. But for the next couple of days, I'd cry about anything and everything. Um, I cried about going into the uh, clinic for a checkup because I wanted to see how I was doing as far as like taking off, taking me off the medication and whatnot. And Panther had to coax me into the building because I was crying and I was resisting and there was no reason for it and I could not logically tell you why I felt that way I just I didn't want to be bothered to anybody you know it's just this is so stupid it's ridiculous I you know I just had a moment of weakness etc etc and guys suicide and suicidal tendencies is a very serious mental illness and there's so many stigmas against mental illness it's ridiculous it is it's stupid and, you know you're made to feel like you're not strong enough you're not you know you're not worthwhile as a person all you have problems you have issues you should see you know oh you're going to a therapist oh what's wrong with you I, nothing is wrong with you there is no reason to not seek help when you feel this way and, I mean, honestly, you need to seek help. If you're not sure, or if you're if you're the support for a person who's dealing with this type of thing, call the nurse hotline. Call. There are suicide prevention links. There are. Yep. Um, you could even text message. Uh, I have a text message hotline that I actually call on a regular basis. You know, hey, I'm feeling extremely anxious, and it's making me feel you know, a certain way, and, um, it's really important to reach out, because one of the things that Matt Pat said in his, his, and I was crying when I, when I watched it, because it hit, struck a nerve, <laughs> um, 
I'm lucky. I have this guy. But a lot of people don't have that. They don't have that support system. And you may feel like you're alone, or you feel like no one understands what you're going through, and I promise you, there are people out there who do understand what you're going through. <clears throat> and they want to help. Or they're, they're in the same situation that you're in, and they don't know what to do either. And, I, I mean, this is the second type of story where Matt has uh, actually talked about this. Well, there's a lot of YouTubers out there that we, we respect and we are personally fans of who yeah. have experienced this. There's a lot of YouTubers out there and, and, and bloggers and, you know, streamers that, um, for some reason or another, connect to people on such a level that it, it gives them a reason to continue and makes them feel like they're not alone or there's somebody out there that's just as weird as I am. <laughs> um, or weirder. <laughs> or, or weirder, yes, yes. Um, uh, and the point being, you know, this is not the first uh, YouTuber that I'm a fan of who's talked about this, uh, this particular subject. Uh, two others come to mind, the one I'm going to mention has actually been through it himself as well, and that would be Markiplier. Yeah. Had a very good friend of his uh, commit suicide as well, and I know somebody personally in my own life who also committed suicide, and this is kind of an epidemic. And it's like, for some reason, these people feel like they're alone. And there's a lot of people who are play, who will play lip service to them. Hey, you know there there are people out there do, doing the same thing that we're doing here. I understand what you're going through, you know whatever. And you feel like they're they're just saying things to to you know calm you down or to placate you. And I promise you, friends, I promise you, we're really not. There is no one in this world whose life does not affect someone else's. There's no one in this world. Yeah, we're, we're all connected. Um, it's important to understand that your connection to another person um, could literally save a life. S save a life. It reminds me of a story um, that I'd heard when I was a kid about this, uh, this guy who was walking down the, the, the hallway of his high school and uh, this kid was cleaning out his locker and he drops a bunch of stuff on the floor and, and he's crying and whatnot and, and the guy helps him pick up his books and you know, hey, you know, can I, can I help you somehow? Can I walk you home? Whatever. And so he walked this kid home and he's like, you know, come to my place, we'll play video games or whatever, and they ended up becoming really good friends. And when they graduated, his friend looked at him and said, dude, that day that we met, the day that you took me home with you, I was cleaning out my locker because that night I was planning to, to commit suicide. And you saved my life. I promise you, even if you feel like you're, you're alone now, there is somebody out there who really would be lost without you. Um, everyone is important. Everyone is special. In some way, shape, or form. And that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, whether you're famous, whether, you're, you know, you're a housewife, whether you're, um, you know, working at McDonald's. You are important. You are special. You are needed. Um, one of my favorite animes when I was growing up, <laughs> geek time, um, is a uh, little little one called Roni Kenshin. Roni uh, Kenshin's a really good series. Really good series, and um, I bring this up because he makes a comment 
And that comment has stuck with me a lot whenever I felt suicidally depressed. And the comment is, you can die at any time. It takes true strength, true courage to live. And that stuck with me. Because, you know, especially with the, the current political climate of the world and, and you know, the, the fact that the jerks are coming out in droves, it's important to know that there are still people out there who actually care. Who care about you not because of the color of your skin or what sex organs you have or your personal beliefs um, or who you fall in love with for that matter you're not alone there are people who care about you and we wanted to, to bring this up because um, it's a really heavy subject and it's really hard to talk about because we make it hard to talk about. We make it hard to talk about because... Mortality's tough to face. Well, no, no, it, for some reason having mental illness is seen as a weakness, but... It's true. Panther has multiple sclerosis. And when I tell people that Panther has multiple sclerosis, usually their response is, Oh no, that's terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Are you in a lot of pain? They'll ask them questions like that. But if I were to go to somebody and say, I have anxiety, the response is vastly different. Well, you should go do yoga. You know, you're, you're brushed off. You're not important. Yeah. My disease is here. And technically speaking, so is Panthers. Yeah. But they're viewed in two different, vastly different ways. My disease of anxiety and depression. Gabby, stop that. Stop. Um, Affects a lot of people. And it's horrendously hurtful. It can kill me. Yeah. Matt said something really profound in his video, and I would definitely recommend you guys watch it if you haven't. Especially those of you who may be struggling. But he said that his friend struggled and, and fought a war with himself every single day and every single day he won that battle but it just takes one loss yeah. wars are not fought on your own you have the you have a lot of resources that you can seek out you can find somebody who can help you fight this battle and and that's that's basically the message that we wanted to uh to send to you guys today yeah it's it's really really important to understand that when it comes to mental illnesses the the stigma around them tends to be basically a man up attitude they don't it's they don't want to actually take the time to actually find out the cause and the source they want to find a band-aid for it yeah and that's not the right answer we are going to talk about this and the more people who talk about it the more that people will understand that this disease is not something that you can just like simply will away oh just cheer up think about you know the positive things and what's going on in your life that's not helpful it really isn't no it's not because your disease when it comes to depression is here and you're basically fighting against your own brain and it's not si as simple as flipping a switch i wish it were most people wish it was I'm, I'm a grown-ass adult, and I have trouble making calls to pay my bills. It makes me nervous. It almost brings me to full-on anxiety to do so. <clears throat> if any of you guys out there are struggling with depression or anxiety, 
I promise you, we want to hear about it. We are here for you. Because the more that we talk about it, the less stigma there will be. And yeah. you're going to be okay. And I, we, we may not have an answer for you, but we can at least be an ear for you to talk to somebody. And sometimes that is just enough by itself, is having somebody who can be that shoulder for you. Sometimes you need somebody who's who's actually trained and qualified to actually try and, and work help you work through things. But in other cases, just having somebody to talk to you about this type of issue is is all the difference in the world so um somebody put something in the comments as far as are, are we ready for some truth or dare so the my response to that is as long as it's relevant there's a reason i put that in there okay we're talking about a very relevant weighty subject indigo and i have no issues answering questions and honestly, we like answering questions. But the largest issue that I've had is we've gotten people who are trying to troll us. We've got people who have asked us disrespectful questions or not relevant questions and things like that. So the truth is, yes, we can. I, I we have no issues doing a truth or dare type thing. But it's got to be relevant, guys. you got to be asking us questions that pertain to either myself or potentially indigo um you yeah, I mean um, you you're, you're you're yeah if, if it's not relevant guys um or if it's rude or disrespectful you will get kicked just letting you know yeah um something i wanted to say there, there i have a magic charm my magic charm is in the form of this lovely man sitting right next to me and uh and, and I, i'm gonna ask him a question and, okay. and 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 he'll 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 answer and this is this is kind of humorous but when i'm having a massive anxiety attack what are the four words that make it feel better everything will be all right everything will be fine everything's going to be okay a variation of those words too often especially like in in our current society um <laughs> that's a great comment <laughs> trouble i love your sense of humor <laughs> so t too often we get people in our lives or, or you know i think in situations in our lives that cause us a, a great amount of stress and we freak out over it and you know, having a freak, a good freak out is is good. It's even healthy. But when you ha have brains like mine that overprocess everything, I'm what they call an overthinker, and that's what causes a lot of my anxiety. Best example I can give you, best example I can give you is um, my my little palm, my little gab gab, who's currently hiding. Um, got her eyes started watering. And she was kind of squinting a little bit, and and it freaked me out, and it scared me. And I didn't know if she was getting an eye infection or there's something wrong, but my brain immediately went to the worst case scenario. My dog has an eye infection. She's going to lose her eye. We don't have the money to take care of her right now, et cetera, et cetera. She ended up being fine. She, like, got something in her eye, scratched it too hard, and it was fine. But... The, the point is, is that I took that way out of context, and my brain just ran with it. And that's the kind of, of anxiety that I suffer from. Um, Panther's answering the question. You could just, like, say it out loud. You don't have to type it, huh? I'm just I'm just continuing the conversation that we were just talking about because um, I brought that up for a reason. Um, a lot of times we make big problems out of small ones, and I, I remember somebody saying something. There, there's two two more pieces of advice I want to leave you guys with. The first one being, ow, I just hurt myself. The first one Don't being a, a really good friend of mine. Um, 
it was a very, very good friend of my mother's as well. My mom passed away uh, in 2012 from pancreatic cancer, and that hit me hard. That was a ton of bricks. Um, and that, the reason why that hit me so hard was because my mom was the person I went to for advice, and I didn't have that anymore. And I, I still struggle with that on a, on a daily basis, even though it's been uh, six years since you passed away. Wow, it's been that long. Yeah. Oof. Because it still it doesn't feel. I mean, it still feels like it was yesterday. But anyway, um, he struggles with depression himself a little bit, and he was talking about. Um, let's see. The past is the past. But looking in too much, worrying too much about what you've done and things that have happened in the past will cause you depression. Same with the future. The future, worrying too much about what's going to happen in the future will cause you anxiety. It's best to live in the moment and, and, and to think about the now. And I really loved that. That really resonated with me, just because I because I have that anxiety, and and it's true. When I think about the past, it depresses me. When I think too much about the future, it makes me feel anxious because I have no control over that. I am, I, and I'm not really a controlling person. But it's it, it turns as it turns out, my anxiety has everything to do with things that I can or cannot control. Um. <clears throat> And the truth in that is that you can control how you react to something. I can't. I can't. An indigo can't control what people say, what they do. We we can't control any of that. But I can control how I react to something. I can control that. And that's the, that's important. But it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. <coughs> Yep. Um, there was something else I was going to say, and then... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to derail you. ...interrupted me, and I, I also happen to have a, a little thing that may or may not be a thing, because I've heard that it doesn't exist, but it does exist. I don't know, but I... Oh, well, <laughs> from what my mother was saying, they reclassified ADHD as part of the Asperger's, or, okay, or so autism I, spectrum. I have, I have uh, Just attention a low deficit version. hyper disorder... Um, and that just basically means when I was a kid, I could not sit still, I could not pay attention to save my life. Um, um, and, and so, like, like the whole, you know, joke of, of, I have attention deficit, ooh, shiny, is extremely true. <laughs> yeah. My trail of thought did not just derail. It, it there's no survivors. <laughs> um, there was something else I wanted to say when it came to to anxiety and depression, and I cannot think of it. And it was really good advice, but I don't remember it. If I could think of it later, I'll let you guys know. But um, you know, we just wanted to um, do do a little section on this vlog touching on a very sensitive subject. Um, mm. But yeah, because I mean, the, the reality is that it's important to actually talk about these types of things. Because again, in a lot of ways, um, sorry, talking about Tim Oh Shiny. Yeah. Yes, I, I heard about this. Um. Hang on one second, guys. Um, he's talking about there's a, there's a setting in uh, the, 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 the in Twitch now that makes the screen names readable. The question is how to get to it. I am not sure. I'm not sure either. I do not know. Anyway, we'll figure it out later. Yeah. Anyway... Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I know a lot of people who suffer from 
depression and anxiety. And it's just nice to know that there's someone out there who understands. And I'll never get tired of hearing your guys' stories. Or the stories of, of, of fellow warriors like me who have struggled with this. Um, and I just, you know, we just wanted to let you guys know that this is a very serious subject. And if any of you out there feel this way, that, you know, this is one of the reasons why Panther started doing these vlogs in the first place, is because once we found out about his disease, we were worried I, about his, his mental health as well, because, I mean, Panther, I don't know, you can't completely tell from, from here, you know, just the, the screen, but, um, he's, he's skinny, he's a twig, he has a nickname, we like to call him Bones. And that's because he's just, you know, he's he's a tiny guy, but he's tiny for a reason. I mean, not, not just the fact that you were blessed with freaking awesome genes, you jerk. <laughs> um, he used to be extremely active. Um, did martial arts, uh, liked to go out and hike a lot, liked to do walking, um, would use... And he used to drive me nuts uh, at, at the same time as one of those things where, I, you know, I love watching him do it at the same time. But he used to do uh, katas, which is a, 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 Forms, a form basically. For, for martial arts. And he used to do that all the time. I mean, sometimes he'd even try to do that to music, which was hilarious to watch. <laughs> but, you know, um, and he went from being this, like, super physical active, I can do anything to barely being able to clean up the house, barely able to walk for long periods of time without feeling pain or, you know, can't really work out without worrying about whether or not he's being overly strenuous because what ends up happening is that he may not feel it now, but he'll definitely feel it later. Yeah, that's yeah. probably the most aggravating part is trying to um, trying to do trying trying to work out and wondering whether I've I've pushed too hard or not, and then finding out oh yeah I did, and then because I don't notice it. Yeah. Which which is but he will notice it tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. When he can't move. And I'm not even joking about that. He will be in bed, and he'll be sore and tired, and it's those days where I'll hand him his laptop and go, you are not moving, friend. And um, I, I worry about him a lot, and, and that kind of contributes a little bit to my anxiety and stress levels, but at the same point, because of, of his disease, I've lost 45 pounds. Um, I had the strength to, to work on myself because I figured I can't help take care of him if I'm sick too. So, you know, in a lot of ways I annoy poor Panther here because I'll, I'll, I'll be, are you feeling okay? You, I'll, I'll carry your ass. I, I will pick up your ass and I will carry you. <laughs> Yeah, she's done it this, too. This is I, this has happened. Um, we were at the, uh, I guess it would turn out the food stamp office. We were trying to. Uh, oh, thank you, Tribble. <laughs> um, well, we went to the the food stamp office, and uh, Panther was not feeling so good. And um, he. Uh, I was like, I, I, I'm hurting. And... <laughs> Aww. Tribble, you, you've become a very valued member of our, our community. I just want you to know that. We appreciate you, friend. Um, but our friend... Right, right now we don't have a vehicle. And so our friend took us there and, and she parked in a... a Parking garage. Parking garage. And to get to this parking garage, they didn't have an elevator. You had to go up these steps. And Panther looked at it and went... 
I was like, all right, we're going to do the Chocobo. <laughs> and I literally picked him up, and I literally carried him about two blocks to the car. And I'm not going to lie, I was like, <laughs> and they're like, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> I got him to the car, and I wouldn't even let him down. I like had to wait until they like, opened up the door, and I could just sit him inside the car. And are you okay, honey? Do you, do you need a massage? <laughs> you need a hot bath? <laughs> do you need strong alcoholic beverage? <laughs> um. Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, or tiki rum. Yeah, I think I think one of the, the, the most important things in life is to, to not take yourself so seriously. Um, I think the, the mark of a truly amazing person is somebody who can laugh at themselves. And, and so, I mean, it's, it's always important, especially we cannot... Mm, be certain of tomorrow. We're not promised tomorrow. We don't know, you know, if, if something's going to happen tonight or, or whatever. And so it's, it's really important to enjoy the time that we have with our loved ones now. It's really important to let your loved ones know that you love them now. And Panther and I have been very happily married, I must say, for almost 14 years next month. And Gosh, 14 years. Whoo, man, where did the time go? Been together 15. <laughs> what? Been together 15. Yeah, been together 15. And one of the reasons why our relationship has lasted as long as it has, and why we're still very much the, this cuddly, you know, my, my, my father was like, you guys are not normal. And I'm like, going, I don't want to be normal. I like my life. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> and I find a reason to fall in love with this idiot every day. And he, he finds a reason. Myself, to, thank you you know, very much. <laughs> and he even finds a reason to, to fall in love with me every day, even though I could be a horrible bitch. I am I could be so bitchy. Um it's true. But you know <laughs> Um my 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 grandmother when I got married imparted me with some advice and she was like, you know, keep that honeymoon phase alive as long as you possibly can. And the way I've done that is to find a reason to fall in love with him. And so I'll fall in love with him because he brought me tea. I'll fall in love with him simply because I wake up and he's got his arm draped around me. Um, I'll fall in love with him because he sat down next to me on the couch and watched TV with me. Or, you know, he likes to sneak up on me and put his arms around me. And I don't always like that, but I like it. <laughs> so, um, you know, we're, we're a sick and ailing cute couple. We really are. Um, but he's one of the main reasons why I'm able to, to carry on when things seem rough. And like, like, you know, when life gets a little too hard. And because of that, there's a lot of anxiety that evolves around his illness and the uncertainty that tomorrow will bring. Panther's doing great right now. But tomorrow, is he going to understand it when I ask him what he wants for breakfast? Um, is he going to remember to feed the dogs? Is he going to be able to make it all the way up and down the stairs of our apartment? to let the dogs out. These are very real and very honest concerns. You know, someday is he going to end up in a wheelchair? Is he going to become paralyzed? Is he going to have speech problems? MS is such a serious disease. And so we do this channel not just to play games and, and have fun with life or and, and you know, but Panther also does this, and I'm kind of speaking for him, so, you know, you just stop me. I, I do this You're a lot. Fine. I talk for him a lot. It's really bad, and it's bad, bad indigo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but Panther started this channel because... <laughs> Sorry, I just saw myself. It was funny. Um, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> um... Stop laughing at me, stupid! <laughs> okay, 
can you <laughs> help me, please? I'm watching myself like five seconds in the past, and this is cracking me up. I'm sorry. Um. Anyway, he started this channel um one to to stave off his own depression because playing games. <laughs> That's gonna make me laugh even harder. <laughs> um. <laughs> Focus. Focus. <laughs> focus. Okay. Um, <laughs> ADHD, fellas. That's what it looks like. Um, it's, it's because video games makes him happy. Video games is a great way to keep his mental acuity sharp. And um, which is you, why I like resource management you, games. You may or may not <laughs> notice, but Panther gets very frustrated very easily, and he's not the best player in the world. Let's be uh -huh. honest. Um. I don't want to hide that either. So. <laughs> <laughs> but he's he's you know he's he's really good at strategy games. He really likes the 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 resource management games, which I'm I'm happy for him. I guess. Um. I, my personal favorite is the RPGs. I love RPGs so much. But um. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're an ass. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm lovable. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> indigo spot for indigo. That's funny. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm amused by myself. <laughs> uh, so that, that's the great thing to say about, you know, people who have ADHD, man. We are easily amused. Anyway, um... Not only is it a great way to... <laughs> teamwork, <and> teamwork. <laughs> um, it, it's a great way for him to, to relieve stress as well. But um, he also did this, uh, you know, and so especially the blog parts, to talk about how his disease is progressing or not progressing. Um, you know, the, the, the fact of the matter is, is that he's starting to have new symptoms, which is not a good sign. It may mean that his current medication is failing or something else is going on. Um, and that's not something that we like to talk about, but just like, you know, the, the serious subject that we were just talking about, it's important for that information to get out there because who knows, one of you guys may stumble upon this, 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 this channel and be like, oh, I have MS or I have a friend, family member has MS and I know exactly what they're talking about. That's what this is all about. That, you know, the, the fact that, you know, we're trying to create a community and we're also trying to raise awareness for this disease and sometimes you guys get to see the bad parts of this disease on camera especially yeah. when panther totally loses it yeah <laughs> smashes his and smash that dick yeah yeah i'm surprised this desk is still actually in i know look look at all the damage you've done to this poor thing oh my gosh look there's a big old crack there We're gonna have to get you like like a non plywood type desk. And you're going to like gift me this desk when we get you a new one, and it's gonna be half broken. Thanks a <laughs> lot, Panther. So so in a couple days when we get the rest of the money, maybe we get me a desk. <laughs> no. <laughs> so that was actually one of the things that uh, uh we had to struggle with as as a couple was the decision to make me um the, the the financier of the family and part of that has to do with the fact that uh the reason why we don't have a car is because panther um swore that he made payments to the car company and they said no you didn't yeah well that was also a constant battle that i had is yeah, I, I, mean, is I, point, I would pay them and they would be like no you didn't your bank denied the charge and so i'd call the bank the bank looks like yeah no we didn't even see the charge so, so therefore you're the, feeding the line of horseshit the, the, point, so. <laughs> the point that i'm making is that panthers become very forgetful um especially when it comes to this kind of thing and, and paying things on time and stuff like that so i have basically become you know, control, in control of the finances, which is not something I wanted. <laughs> I am the type of person, I'm lazy. It's, it's, I mean, it's so obvious that I'm lazy, but I'm lazy. Um, I like to do things the easy way and I avoid responsibility like plague. Um, 
but when it when it comes to being you know the serious one and whatever you know if it comes to the fact that I have to provide for the family I will if it comes to the fact that I have to control the finances I will um, and controlling finances is not easy uh, we no. kind of went on a bit of a shopping spree today so I'm, I'm very very scared for our finances right now but you know um, uh, the, the fact of the matter is is that we, we take life way too seriously and honestly we just need to learn how to have fun with it no be serious for the things that need to be serious but other than that you, you should click on that I want to see what that looks like <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's gonna go down in infamy, I swear. I know who Indigo. I can't read that, honey. I I know who Indigo reminds me of Sandra Bullock. Panther reminds me of John Cusack. That's a very nice. Thank you. That's a very nice compliment. I like that. Yeah. I love Sandra. She's she's awesome. She is. So. I think she's in semi-retirement by now, though, because she's not doing a lot of stuff. She was in something very recently, actually. I I know that she's in like the, the, there. <laughs> I saw a preview for like an ocean, like a new Ocean's movie. Yeah, Ocean's Eight. So, um, but <clears throat> but other than that, I hadn't seen her in anything in a while. You guys about to see this in real life. Um, what was that? Frog. <laughs> Frog. <laughs> um. No, no uh, something got. It was like something got caught in my throat. And I had has to that my been throat. happening a lot? No. Okay, good. Keep an eye on that because that is a symptom. Okay. Yeah. So sorry. Um. Um, as it, yeah, Triple was, was saying, I should say, um, we, we, um, I, I worry about Panther a lot, and I, I read up a lot on the, the source material, because Panther, he's not very good at reading. I mean, that's something that you may or may not have recognized about him. Yeah, me and reading suck, but the reading issues is actually the brain damage, and the MS has made that worse now. So. Worse, yeah. So, I do a lot of the reading uh, and the materials, so I will, you know, freak out if, if something, you know, if he, if he has a sore throat, I, I freak out a little bit because the medication he's on, uh, I was sort of looking for... What is the word I'm looking for? Your medication into something. Gelenia? What, what? No. What does it do to your immune system? It suppresses system? my suppresses. immune system. The word I'm looking for suppresses. Yeah, it suppresses, it suppresses my immune his system. immune system, which means that if he gets a cold, it could be very serious. Um, actually, I've, I've read uh, documentation that suggests that it's not the MS that'll kill you, it's the side effects, such as the suppression of his immune system. Uh, apparently, a lot of uh, people with multiple sclerosis end up dying from things like um, pneumonia and so that's that's a very serious you know thing so like I take Panther's health very seriously and I, I worry about that a lot so you might see me freak out every once in a while when he does things and and, and it's fine it's just mostly me just checking on his general health and well-being <laughs> I mean, he's he's a really good reader. It's just it he's slow. He's so slow. And just because he reads something doesn't necessarily mean he understands what he's reading. 
Yeah, because <laughs> again, unfortunately, the brain damage has its own set of issues. Verbal comprehension being one, reading comprehension being another, um, and then you compound the MS on top of that, and then it just gets really, yeah. Um, real Webster, we we don't star. Sorry, Web Webstar. <laughs> dum dum. Um. <laughs> We don't really do watch a lot of sports. Um, Not really. I, I mean, honestly, we don't actually have anything as far... We don't have TV. I enjoy watching a good baseball game in person. Not on TV, but in person. Uh, we have good communication. So you, you're usually good at understanding from our chats. That's yeah. good. That's very good. Um... I, I have seen in, in the past where Panther has completely misunderstood somebody. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, 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 it does happen. So, Although um, I've gotten to a point where I, I start recognizing that I'm, um, that I'm not processing things. And so I'll... Um, there's the spaciness. Yep. Um... And there's the other part. Totally thought derailed, huh? Yep. That's okay. Um, I wanted to, to say that uh, there's probably one sport that you would probably love watching on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. if, if it was, like... Fencing. Fencing is broadcasted, but it's broadcasted know, at weird-ass times, well, and it's that, never it's, it's very usually, well yeah. advertised. So. But fencing would be something that you'd watch on our I would basis. watch fencing. Panther used to actually uh, do some Olympic fencing. He wasn't actually an Olympian, but he, he did do some Olympic fencing, and he did teach uh, fencing for a while. He's really good at it, too, so, I mean, you know... Yeah. Eh. <laughs> You're good with a sword? <laughs> <laughs> you would know. <laughs> Careful the door you open. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, and, and exactly, uh, Triple. That, that's exactly one of the reasons why I've encouraged him to continue doing the channel. Is just because the uh, the the all the games that he plays really do help with his brain, and that's actually something that um, was. Um, <clears throat> sorry, what was the word for, um, suggested to him when he was growing up was to play video games, especially games that had a lot of, uh, you know, chatting stuff, like, like Final Fantasy VII was a really good game for him when he was oh, younger. Oh, Ray wouldn't get me a game unless it... Yeah, because it forced him to read. Yeah. And reading is important. Yeah. Um... I, you know, I, I've toyed with the idea of actually doing a blog myself, uh, but I think the majority of the stuff that I would talk on my blog would be, like, diet stuff, because, <laughs> like, nutrition in this country, because we live in America, um, is horrendous. It's so bad. It's so bad. And, and I've learned some really cool things uh, in, in my weight loss journey, and, and it's like, you know... I think some of the stuff that I've learned would help a lot of people, especially people who just don't know. Um, but that's not something I want to talk about because this is your blog, not my blog. Yeah. You should do a blog on a regular basis. I probably should because I have the ca I, I, I have the capacity. It's just like not not necessarily the the desire. I guess is not exactly there. I because like well. Like, in real life, uh, I'm doing a, uh, a, a show here pretty soon. Where I, I was cast in a musical. And, um... Trainwreck City. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's going to be an interesting show. We'll, we'll put it that way. Um, not a bad show. I don't really think it's going to be a bad show. I think it's going to be interesting. But uh, the point that I'm making is that it makes me really, really busy. And lately, I have not been doing very good about juggling. Aww. <laughs> Thank you, Tribble. Yeah, I mean, Panther, Panther, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, you know, dish on Panther here, but he is one of the most intelligent people I've ever had the 
honor of, of meeting. And he doesn't believe me when I tell him I think he's smart. Yes, I do. You didn't used to. <laughs> That's you didn't true. used to. <laughs> That's true. You used to get, get so mad at me when I was like, you're, you're so smart. And you're like, no, I'm not. And I'm like, well, you are. You're so smart. You're so smart. Such a smart boy. He's gonna kick my ass. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. My mom used to say that I was very, very intelligent. Um, growing up, but that I like to hide it, and it's actually pretty true. Um. I. A, a little, a little bit of a backstory on me, if you don't mind, Panther. Um. Mm -mm. I, uh, I was the girl that people picked on to be popular in school. I was never the popular girl. Um, and because of that, my, my best friends ended up being books. Not just any books. What books did I read, Panther? I don't remember. That's okay. I probably, well, I, I may, have mentioned, may or may not have mentioned it, but I'm a nerd. I would read, like, Forgotten Realms books and D&D books. And not like, like like the role playing I'm talking like the the fantasy novels. No, the fantasy the, novels. The storybooks, yeah. In in which, you know, the, 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 the vocabulary is that of, you know, way above you know, I'm a I'm a freaking fifth grader reading Driss Stewarden, you know? <laughs> no, it's not the act you know, that's a character, not the Ari Salvatore. Sorry, I could not remember the name of the author. No, or, or, I mean, R.A. Salvador writes at a level that oh, even yeah. I now have, like, yeah, so you okay, start, my vocab's like, good, wait, but it's wait, not that good. What's this word mean? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I grew up with that kind of, of, of you know, book knowledge and whatever, and so, like, I guess in, in retrospect, it kind of made it so that people who were my age seemed incredibly stupid. <laughs> I literally watched a girl scream her lungs out because of a stupid poster featuring one of her favorite singers. I was like, chill. <laughs> <laughs> Just, what is that? What is that? I do not understand. Um, so so I, I bring that up because, you know, a, a lot of times I don't really think I'm all that smart. I mean, I, I mean, I, I think I'm in, I, probably above average intelligence, but you know, I'm lazy. You know, I, you know, I, I think my my most intelligent. The, the only way that you could find out if if Indigo Frog is really intelligent is probably to check out one of my novels. Um, that you're working on. That I'm working on. I've that should have been published if your publisher had yeah, actually done her damn we're job. we're not gonna go there. We, we know yeah, how you that's, feel about that. that that's, that's, a, that's a sore subject. Yeah, I'm gonna, basically I have this gigantic novel, like 350 pages, like regular 8x5, or 8 by 11 8 and a half by 11 8 and a half by 11 I got there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um... It says 350 pages that way, so like, as a, a smaller novel, it's like almost like 600 pages for this one novel, and so, um, I, I have plans to release it in quarters, so like, I'll release the first quarter of the book, and then three months later I'll release the second book, and yada yada yada, and I'm almost ready to do that. Um, I'll probably actually do that close to the end of, uh, August... September ish area, so basically coming this fall, I'll mm -hmm. be releasing some new novelettes. So if you guys are interested in checking out the Indigo Frog, uh, my she's pen got name, a novelette already published. Yeah, my pen name is Dolly and Greylock. Uh, if you want to check out what I've done on, um, you can find it on Amazon. Uh, Amazon, actually. yeah. If you look up Dolly and Greylock, you could put you could put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna look it up now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Any chance that Panther has to uh, brag about his wife, he does it. Silly hubby. D A L I A N G R A Y L O C K E. Right there, the second metaphor's miracle.
Ooh, that's interesting. What? Go ahead and, and post it. I'll explain here in a second. What does that mean? Oh, that's just a buffering thing. Okay, so we're still we're still. Yeah, no, we're okay. we're still fine. Okay. This this is taking a minute. Okay. Which happens. It's I just wanted to make sure. So yeah. So Panda just uh, posted a link to my um. My, my novelette and what's interesting is that it's um free for anybody who has uh kindle unlimited which is basically um if you have a amazon uh prime account it means that you should be able to um jump online and uh read it basically for free which would be great honestly I mean if you guys are, are interested in that check that out like seriously it's worth it I promise yep um so you know I, I have a lot of creative endeavors and I, I think it kind of spreads me a little thin um and that's why I don't do vlogs see I <laughs> for some reason can somebody explain to me how my, 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 my excuse for not doing vlogs took about 30 minutes to explain? <laughs> Come on, out of the closet. Come on. There's a mighty rattle going on. <laughs> So, mighty rattle, mighty rattle, ladies and gentlemen. We have ourselves a rare glimpse of the Kumo Yojimbo. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you want all of my dirty secrets exposed, he is the guy to do it. <laughs> On this as well? Not especially. Not at, not, not at this point. I think this has no. been a. Uh... Hi. Oh, maybe next time. Yeah, I, I think that this is uh, that this vlog has probably gone on for a long, long, long time. See, my problem is I could talk your ear off. I don't know when to stop. That's okay. Stop in the name of love. And you're not usually <laughs> like this. I'm not usually like what? Going on and on and on. Either that or I'm not around when you do. You're not around when I do. Okay. I am I am a literal chatterbox. I am not around when you do. Yeah, if I have somebody who wants to uh, listen to me, I will... I mean, honestly, if I did a vlog, I'd have to, like, okay, remember this point and this point and this point and this point. And Otherwise, seven for less than two hours. <laughs> oh, this has been going on for a while. Thanks so much for watching, guys. <laughs> well, we've been streaming for about an hour and forty. Yeah, I know. I Which know. for me is do, normal. Do, do you wanna do you wanna play a game before we go? Like maybe some leaf or some 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 golf. Golf. Okay, Gorf. Because otherwise I have to stop things and change to a different software. That's right, because life is stupid. Yeah, for some reason, uh, Game Show see, doesn't Dribble like says life. Golf. Dribble says golf. We will do it <laughs> as soon as we're done. I will whip up my laptop. Uh, Kumo, are you joining us? Yes. Kumo will be joining us. So we're going to go ahead and get set up. Uh, give us yep. about maybe 15 at, at the max. And we will be right back. <laughs> for the panther rage yes <laughs> that should be a thing that should be totally a thing of the panther rage <laughs> <laughs> panther does what yeah, it's true panther does do what panther does so um we'll go ahead and, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and slink off camera now thanks for listening to me ramble for the past half an hour about serious subjects and then starting to get really goofy and silly <laughs> hashtag panther rage <laughs> so um yeah <clears throat> 
see you guys in a minute. Panther, go ahead and close this out. And mm. we'll be right back with some Golf with Friends. Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you, too. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Um, I know that we kind of bounced around a little bit, but it, it, I felt it was really important for us to um, to talk about such a... Uh, to talk about <laughs> that stuff because it it doesn't get talked about enough it really doesn't and it's really problematic when you've got such a serious subject and so many people just try and sweep it under the rug or they don't address it for the serious issue that it actually is so if you're dealing with any anything when it comes to any form of a mental illness or a, 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 anything in, in that category, talk to somebody. Um, somebody asked if, if, if we were basically a professional Christian hotline, and the answer to that is no, we are people of faith, we do believe, but we're not trained. So... there's a difference in between Christian and believing so um, I appreciate that triple thank you very much so anyways um, this is where I'm gonna where I'm gonna wrap up because again we're uh, we're gonna start golf with friends here uh, we've got to get Everybody's got to get set up and get the game loaded and whatnot, and then I've got a few things I've got to change as far as the tag setup and things like that. Well, not quite the tag setup, but I've, I've got a few things I need to change. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. It's always appreciated. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit the follow button up top along with the heart icon. I do game streams uh, six to seven days a week, and I do the vlog seven days a week. So... Um, yeah, and then if you're looking for other ways to support the channel, there's a donation link down below along with a suggestion box. So, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys here shortly for some golf with friends. Peace out, guys. Have a good night.